world building is something that an awful lot of people aspire to. I would definitely love to have my very own world. But I can't. I don't have time to create my own world. However, I'm very happy to say that Mind Warrior Games is giving us Kings of Mithril, which is indeed a world building game that looks outside quite pretty and beautiful. So the Finnish company is actually promising an awful lot with this one. And the question is, is what's in the box worth the money you're going to have to pay to get your hands on it? We're going to find out. Welcome to the GMS Magazine unboxing videos. I am with Derek, one of the amazing backers who helped us with the Kickstarter for Dice and Slice, the show about game gamers and food, to make it a reality. And uh, he's been very kind to come and, and help us do some boxes. It's been great to have you around, but I'm going to make you work um, <laughs> now, because we are going to take a look at inside the boxes of Rings of Mithril. Now, this is from Mind Warrior Games. This is a company that so far every single game we've opened yep. has really left us very happy. Mm -hmm. And every single game that we've unboxed from them has had exactly the same one issue, just one issue. Yeah. So I'm looking be, forward to finding out this to see whether it's the same. And uh, yeah. just one point, actually, you said Rings of Mithril, and uh, that's the first time I've read it like that. I thought it was Kings of Mithril. Um, so I'm I... dyslexic, so I don't know what it says. No, no, well, we could both be right. That font is... Um, very, Intriguing. very tricky and difficult to read. Yeah. Rings, um, rings or kings? As, 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 as I said, before we continue, the no. one thing though, um, if you look at the box, this game is for eight players plus, ages two to four, and it plays in 60 seconds. <laughs> no, that's not true. Eight, eight, ages eight plus, it's just that they're kind of wrong order, the icons in there, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I, I have to say, I'm, <laughs> I, was a bit I don't know whether there is a standard in the gaming industry, <laughs> but I'm, I'm used to seeing number of players age time. <laughs> yeah. And it, yeah, when you said that, I... I was bizarre. Yeah, I, I believed you. <laughs> I'm very trustworthy. <laughs> Come on, let's get into the box. Now, uh, viewers, you might see that the box has been dented. Uh, this is because it came in a suitcase all the way from Germany, from, from Spiel. And I, I had to pack an awful lot of games in a suitcase because EasyJet is not the most generous when it's about luggage allowance. It's a lot better than Ryanair, but it's not great. So I had to pack them very tightly and that's what happened. So be careful when you travel with your games. Yeah, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a slight on the quality of the box no. actually. I mean, it, no. it is maybe a slightly, slightly thin box. Not yeah, it's, it's the kind of box that they always produce. Yeah. Beautiful cover, though, I have to say. The, 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 the yeah. cover is gorgeous. And that's been the same with, with other um, Mind Warrior games that we've looked at, hasn't it? Yeah. We? The, the, the artwork has been great. Um, Throughout, it's yeah. very, very good. Okay. Now, weirdly enough, on top, we <laughs> don't have the rules. Oh. On top, the first thing we see... Is the board. Is the board, which you're not going to take a look yet. We're going to take a look first. And the rules. I saw all the counters. And we have. <laughs> Calm down. You, <laughs> you, you, you will get to the counters, I, I to the promise. Counters. Now, uh, rules, again, like any Mind Warrior games, yeah. light. They are literally four pages of rules. Yeah. And nicely, clearly set out, nice, you know, the, the kind of things you like to see. So, you know, what's it about? What's the easy, you know, how do you get ready? Mm. What's the turn sequence? All on the first page. Um, yeah, uh, bodes well. Yeah, the, the, the whole thing looks super simple. I like that very much. Right. No, no, no tokens yet. No tokens, no tokens yet. Board first. I know that you're gagging to get to those tokens. I think that's the back. Yes. Either that or it's the most minimalistic board I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. 
<laughs> but no, this is the back. But this is one thing about Mind Warrior Games. They do pay an awful lot of attention to these things. And having the back so beautifully illustrated is lovely. Mm. It is nice. It, it just finishes it off, doesn't it? Yeah. And in the front, wow. That is a very, very nice looking board. Yeah. Has got that same issue, though. Yeah. Uh, and, and I know we're picky, but that, that central seam... Yeah, it's too wide. It's too wide, and it's just gonna it's gonna show after mm. a while, which is gonna be a shame on such a beautiful board. Yeah, v very nice cartography. I like how they have managed from the artwork point of view, even though the pieces are triangular and everything is triangular, but you still have, you know, the, the, these are farmlands mm. with all the hedges, and these are forests, and they still manage to make it mm. believable, credible, congruent. Yeah. Even if they are in a shape that you will never find a proper field in. Nice use of iconography once again. Which I su suspect we'll find on the tokens and the cards. Yep. We so the, the whole thing looks super nice. Mm. Nice and clear and crisp. Now. Tokens to press out. Tokens, come on. Come on, enjoy. So this show is, show this your the, face of enjoyment. This is the test, right? So how easily do these come out? And the answer is very... Um, so they're going to come out nice and easily. Good quality card. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. <gasps> um, printed both sides. Nice thick. Good weight. Wow. Mm. It's very curious, though. There's so much yeah, dead the, space. The dead space. I mean, I, I guess that's a, a, a production economy. I don't know. but Well, economy. I mean, they, of, they could have printed space. those two boards in one. Yeah, there's, you could get half of this on there again, couldn't you? You, you can make this a bit tighter together. Yeah. That's very strange, very weird. And it's the same with the green ones, not just the grey. How very strange. I wonder why they did that. I'm sure they had a reason, but I have no idea which one. That's a lot of counters, though. Yeah. So we've got three, four, five, six boards of counters to press out. He'll be happy. I'll be very happy. <laughs> and that's interesting. It's a diff is that a different size? Well, it's a different size board. But okay. Again, nice that it's double-sided. It mm. just finishes it off nicely. And beautiful printing, I have to say. It's oh, no. very quality, high printing. There's a, they're they're going to get a brownie point from me because I've just noticed lurking <gasps> in the bottom of the bag some empty plastic bags for my tokens. So, yes, I've got to do the work to press them out. Um, but at least they're giving me somewhere to put them, which is nice. Uh, very nice that they have a sheet with all the contents yep. listed. Nice quick check when you're putting stuff back in the box. Correct. Yeah. Or when you want to buy the game yeah, second hand, for example. Yeah, just make sure it's all there. Make sure that everything is there, which is very good. It's like four-sided dice. Yeah. As there would be fours. Mm. Which is quite interesting because, and my friend Michael's going to be very proud of me in a second, it plays with the vari va vari variance mm -hmm. in the game. Having two D4s. Yep is different than having one D8, for example, oh, or two yeah. D6s, or whatever. So that, that's going to play with the variance. And just from an aesthetic point of view, you know, we've got the triangles on the board, yeah. we've got the triangular tokens, and lo and behold, we've got... We have triangular ties. Very nice. Nice touch. And we have... <laughs> <laughs> now, I get excited about the, the tokens. Let's see a very happy man here. Can't help it. Let's, let's let it be whole. With my eyes closed. I'm going to open this with my eyes closed. Oh, that is a joy. Lots of cards again. Good quality. It could be a bit thicker. It's a wee little bit thicker, but it's not bad because I'm going to sleeve them anyway. So they don't need to be. Again, beautiful artwork. Every single game from these people we've seen. Yeah, the, lovely, artwork, the quality artwork. artwork's been really nice. And, and the use of the icons, again, very nice. The only thing, the, 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 the numbers down there, they're a little bit difficult to see. Yeah. And but I think a point we made on another game, I can't remember whether it was one of theirs, but about the, uh, these possibly being more being useful at the, at the top. So when you're looking at the cards, you know, you, uh, in your hand, you're not covering them up. Yep. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think of. But that is very, very nice artwork. Enough of it as well. Mm. Although there are a fair amount of, of, of illustrations that are repeated, but it's pretty good. What's in your deck? 
So this deck here, I think I've got more of the same actually. Um, maybe we should look on the contents. But um, yeah, I mean again, the artwork's very nice. Obviously resource cards of some sort, yeah. Or item cards. Hmm. Yeah. Nicely printed backs. Yep. I mean, I've been pleased with the. I, I know you say about sleeving the cards. I'm, I'm not. Sometimes I'm not a fan of sleeved cards in my games. But really, not really. But um, but these these feel like nice cards. They're they're a good, they're a good quality. Now, the one thing that I'm finding about this game that's intriguing is that the insert. You have here some numbers that. My instinct told me that this is something that you're going to use in game, mm. and you don't see many times, or if any, um, inserts that you can actually use in game or give you anything to do with the value of the pieces or or something, mm. something to do with you, the number It'll of be pieces. To see whether that crops up, what, what that's about. Yeah. But other than that, I have to say, production-wise, um, yeah, Mind Warrior games, they've, they've done it, it's very good. Yeah, they've done it again, and, and you know, I think the quality's up there with all the others. A mm -hmm. um, couple of very small points that we've picked out, I think, you know, around that, that scene in the board. And yep. Yeah, but otherwise, I'd, they're a company that I'm going to look out for. I haven't, yep. got, I haven't got any of their games yet, but I think uh, well, I, I think I'll we'll be fixing that. Certainly. Very well done indeed. Again, another Mind, mind Warrior games. More thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to subscribe because soon we're going to come back with more unboxing goodness. Thank you. Thanks.